for me with this story, it was new, it's different. Um, he didn't have a heavenly experience, um, which I think helps make the movie even more relatable to a wider audience because even though, um, you know, with Heaven is for Real, Miracles from Heaven, those experiences were supernatural and incredible, um, there's a supernatural on display in this film, but it's just differently rendered. And that is really what got me excited about this movie and the fact that John Smith was adopted from Guatemala and being able to explore diversity in this film uh, is something that really um, struck with me and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to tell this story. And the name of the film is Breakthrough. It's yes. based on a true story. It's yes. based on, and that story was told in a book. The book Called has the impossible. A, the impossible. Yes. So there's something about that title. So take us through the the changing of the title to make it different than the book and and what you really would communicate because it seems like to me and I know when I talk with Jason and John they kind of touched on it as well. There are some the the word breakthrough really has several different connotations. Yes, um, we changed the movie title because there's another movie out there called In the Impossible okay. that was done by another incredible filmmaker and uh, I believe um, Naomi Watts starred in that film. So more people knew in that movie, The Impossible, than the film we were developing. And so we wanted a new title. And our executive at Fox, Marissa Paiva, she, before we, while we were in pre-production, she um, hit me up and said, hey, you know, I think the movie should be called Breakthrough. And I said, wow, I love that. I said, I think that's right, because it does operate on so many levels, you know. Uh, John breaking through the ice, um, the spiritual breakthroughs that they had, the, the emotional breakthroughs that happened in the film. So I love the title Breakthrough, and I think it's also more tangible. I think we all uh, need a breakthrough or have just come through a breakthrough. And so there's something very powerful about the title that uh, helps articulate what the journey of the movie's about. The filmmaker's name is Devon Franklin. He is joining me here at the Faith Radio Meeting House Broadcast Center, National Religious Broadcasters 2019. So Devon, I, I, want to give, I don't want to give too much of a, a math lesson here, but obviously there's a dramatic story in the film Breakthrough having to do with John Smith falling through the ice and being without a pulse for over yeah. an hour and really enduring something that most people would have died as a result of in, in this situation. You have a mother's strong faith, and you have a story that God obviously intended to tell yes. through this young man yes. and his family. So if you had to break it down as far as the percentage of the movie devoted to the ice incident and its aftermath and some of the other lessons of the film, the impact on the Smith family and on John, how would, you, how would that break down roughly? Wow, I'm not sure um, percentage-wise, but you know the um, first act is pretty much establishing the story and in the first act happens when um, you know John falls through the ice and then the rest of the film you know deals with the repercussions of that and uh, and that's one of the things that once I heard the story I didn't know all that there was to the story the first thing I heard was about the prayer back to life and I knew that there was that was a, a good moment in a film but it wasn't enough to make a film so what I was able to do along with our writer Grant was to interview the family and get a much better idea of where that full story lived and so that's why I would say percentage-wise, you know, the ice incident, you know, is probably 25, 30 percent of the beginning of the film, and then the remaining of the film is dealing with the aftermath of that. And that's what I wanted to get into, the ramifications. A lot of different yeah. themes here in this story. So what would you say would be a couple of the, the real principal messages that people could glean from seeing the film? Um, you know, film? I think one of the biggest messages is to speak life. Um, and because, you know, when we speak life, then life can actually happen. Um, I think also love. You know, one, the last song in the film is by Carrie Underwood. It's Love Wins. And I think the movie articulates that. Joyce loved her son so much that she refused to give up on him when others did. And that's so powerful. And I also think that, um, you know, people walking out of the theater feeling valued and being reminded there's a plan for their life. It's very easy for us to f uh, feel forgotten as if uh, it doesn't matter, you know, what happens to us. But I think this movie reminds us that God loves each and every one of us, and there's a plan for each of our lives. And Joyce, obviously, is a prayer warrior. Oh, she yeah. Saw the, she saw she, the, the yep. app, you and know, she's the still results. Praying. Every time you see her, she prays. Joyce Smith is a real-life superhero. She's powerful, and uh, I'm just blessed to know her. That's awesome. 